your parents are wrong. It's okay to gamble. No, no, not like that, little Timmy. Don't tell your mom that Skocap said it was okay to go play blackjack. But what I mean is risk. Taking risks is a good thing. You control or sentinel mains out there might be holding yourselves back. The problem with these agents is that they're trained to sit back behind their smokes or setups and then just wait. But the issue with that is that you'll never win a round for your team unless they come to you and you get more than one. But you're not learning that way. Chamber came out six months ago and you sentinel and controller mains deciding not to pick him up because he's not a true sentinel are holding yourselves back. Let me explain. Before we get into it though, remember if your match history looks like this guy, then head on over to skillcap.com and we can help you fix that. Stick around at the end of the video to hear more. So about taking risks, here's a prime example of what I mean. Take a look at this round and you tell me. Placing swarm grenade. Party's over. Go back, go back. Reloading. One eight. Nip, nip. Uh, stop you, man. Go for mid, go for mid. Ah, oh, many mid. Right here. One enemy remaining. Placing swarm grenade. Swarm grenade out. Oh, wait, they take the back. Uh, Did Killjoy learn anything from this round? It get better at anything or even get any value? No. Jet peeks B main past Killjoy's setup. She gets a kill. Uh, their Phoenix is pushing mid and Sky is fighting A main. The only person not learning anything this round is Killjoy. Jet got better at fighting for B main. Sky learned how to clear A main. I mean, maybe not well, but at least she's learning. And Phoenix fought mid by pushing a smoke and got punished. I mean, hopefully he learned from that as well. Uh, our Killjoy continually just sat behind her utility and even tries to fight a guy with her alarm bot in Nano Swarm. Now instead, she could drop in vents and fight the guy with her teammate and get better at fighting. Now, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not saying not to lock Killjoy or any other non-duelist-like agent. What I'm saying is that by playing more aggressive agents, you learn how to fight and aren't afraid, unlike this Killjoy. The utility setup part is the easy part, but by pushing and learning your limits is how you learn and become a better player. So if Killjoy was Chamber, maybe she'd toss her trip in heaven and fight be main. A win or lose, she'd be getting better. Because in Valorant, eventually you're forced to fight things, and the better at fighting, the better player you are. And just because you are playing Chamber or any other duelist, it doesn't mean that you're taking risks and getting better. With these agents, you cannot be afraid to fight and take said risks. In this VOD, watch what our Chamber does. The past few rounds, he uses the same exact setup, which isn't very risky, but at least he can try and take a peek with it. But look at all the space and information Yoru is gathering with his ultimate. Why not follow him and flank the enemy team that is obviously slamming B? Had he done so, notice how he would have been there to help his Yoru fight the flank, and then they could have won the round together. Instead, Chamber sits back, checks halls for some reason, and basically does nothing. He easily could have tripped that instead. If Chamber took the risk, pushed through Cave with Yoru, he would have had a good fight, gotten better, and even won his team the round. Players, especially in lower ranks, are so worried about not pushing on defense, but in reality, you have to push sometimes. Especially if you notice there's a timing, uh, no pressure, or you see an opening, you should take a risk and learn. Here, let's use a very basic example. Assume that we're playing on Ascent, and the enemy team is doing a very standard mid default. They smoke Catwalk, Arrow and Drone up mid, standard stuff. Odds are, there's probably one person holding A main, so why not grab your tree player and double push him? Best case scenario, you kill the guy who isn't expecting you to push, and worst case, you guys play the trades, but at least you gained all of this map control because of it. There's a reward for the risk you both took. You won't learn this stuff by playing Killjoy and sitting behind your turret the entire round. Sometimes you need to take the information you have, either from your teammates or your minimap, go past your setup, and win your team the round. Now, this is what good risk taking looks like. Our Reyna starts off the round by trying to take a duel in cave, and after not seeing anyone or hearing anyone and knowing her team is getting pressured B, she pushes out double doors with her omen to clear out mid. Whether Reyna realizes it or not, she won her team the round. Had she just stuck around on A or rotated through her spawn, her team might not have won the round. Look at the minimap and you'll see that they successfully pinched the enemy team trying to 
be. Did she do it perfectly? I mean, no. I mean, her mechanics could have been a lot better, but she's learning. If she died to someone mid, she'd learn that next time she goes mid, she needs to do a better job at clearing it out. If it were one of our Sentinel mains from before, they would have sat behind their setup, then played something like a 2v4 retake on B site. As I said before, taking risks and pushing out wins rounds and helps you improve. Now in this clip, I'm going to run a timer and you guys will see how long this Killjoy sits around and does nothing. She just stares at a Viper ultimate for 40 seconds. Uh, I mean, why not do something else? Go Jiggle Peak be main or uh, even just get ready to swing off your utility at the very least. But she doesn't even get the kill off her alarm bot. Her teammate does. Had she set up her turret to face B main, she could fight with it. Uh, maybe find a kill and fall back. Uh, but by playing here in market behind a Viper ultimate, she's useless and isn't learning anything. How does she come out of this round as a better player? She doesn't. Now for our last clip, let's watch Viper play Breeze. Notice how she plays behind her setup and never really pushes out. For no reason, she's convinced that someone is lurking up on her. But every round so far, they've slammed whichever site they've gone to. They don't have a chamber or cipher, so why not push the flank? In some of my ranked games, I've literally had my knife out and just run down on the flank. And I've been there for my team and I've pinched them in cave from the flank. Breeze is a map with long rotation times, so I get it if you can't get there quick enough. But if a breach has made it all the way up on a default and is holding your team that is backside, you shouldn't be on B site still. Now, if you do get lurked on, then you have to take your time on your flanks and clear your angles methodically. Maybe take Sova with you. He can help you clear the things out a lot quicker. Then this starts to look a lot like that ascent sample that I used before. What I'm saying is that if you just sit behind your utility and never take a risk, you'll never learn. And then when it does come time to fight, you'll be ready, carry your team and rank up. Now, this is all just one of many in-depth guides that we have on our website though. Also, if you want a chance at having your VOD review, be sure to subscribe on our website at skillcap.com. We also have tons of ratings for our commentaries. We have radiant players walking through exactly how to have the most impact possible in a wide variety of situations. As we mentioned before, it's also backed by a rank improvement guarantee. And the reason we do that is because you're just that confident that our service works. And if it doesn't work, then you shouldn't pay. So what are you waiting for? You got nothing to lose. Head on over to skillcap.com and get started on your way to that rank that you deserve. So hopefully you guys have a better understanding on how you should be improving at the game. You'll never get better if you just sit and hide all game. The weapons in Valorant are extremely strong. They're stronger than your setups, smokes, or whatever you have. So in your next game, pay attention to what's going on there on the map, find an opening, limit test, and learn. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel down below. It really does help us out. And that's all for us. I'm Teets, and we here at Skullcap want to thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.